Hey, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. Uh, <clears throat> I swung by a, uh, a customer's house this morning uh, to check on some things. Uh, one of our landscape lighting customers. And, uh, and I got to talking to them, and they wanted a bid on um, Christmas lights, on the new generation of LEDs that we use in Christmas lighting. So I was talking to them about it and how much it was going to cost and things like that. And I told them that the cost would vary because uh, some, you know, it's all made in China. And the, so the, the, the prices can fluctuate and uh, we can see big fluctuations uh, today. Uh, and so she started uh, with the wife of the couple. She said, <coughs> excuse me. I'm sucking on a cough drop. Still got this stuff. Just a second. I'll, uh, okay, don't want to make you listen to that stuff. She's in international shipping. And she, she heads up the international shipping department for a big company. And she was telling me about uh, a, a, a contact with a, a client of theirs that she'd had just, I guess, yesterday or the day before. This client wanted a, a bid on... Uh, the cost of, of containers, shipping containers from the West Coast, I don't know, L.A., Long Beach, someplace, I don't know, to Iowa. And she said she was kind of surprised because usually they're, they're, they, they're, they're shipping the other way, Iowa to, to the coast for export. And of, of this particular thing, it was from a, I won't say the name of the company, but it's a big ag company. And... Uh, so she asked him, she says, what's, uh, uh, you know, why? And, and they says, well, uh, we're shipping pig intestines back from China to Iowa to use as uh, sausage casings. There, there's, there's one for you all who love link sausage and don't realize you're eating pig intestine. Uh, sorry to throw that into your day, but uh, knowledge is power, right? <clears throat> so anyway, we got to talking about how strange things are, and it's, it's because the, the the differential between the cost of labor between here and China just makes it more economically feasible for that to happen. But we can see how crazy that is, right? We see how what's happened to the world. That that made me think about this thing that somebody sent me or posted on their page on Facebook. Yes, I'm on Facebook because I love the memes. <laughs> and I tell you. There's a lot of economic warfare, um, or um, not economic, what am I talking about? Anyway, informational warfare going on Facebook. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people on our side fighting back, and I like that. I, I, I don't like to leave the entire field of battle, as it were, to the enemy. So anyway, it made me think of something, but it just came up the other day. So let me, let me read this to you. I think you might, um, I won't say enjoy it, but, but you will like to have heard it, and it's nothing that maybe you haven't realized. starts out like this. Joe Smith, and that's no relation because this is just a story. This is a fictional uh, story, and I'm not related to fictional people. Uh, Joe Smith started the day early, having set his alarm clock made in Japan for 6 a.m. While his coffee pot made in China was perking, he shaved with his electric razor made in Hong Kong. He put on a dress. Yeah, I know Hong Kong's a part of China now. <clears throat> he put on a dress shirt made in Sri Lanka, designer jeans made in Singapore. See, I, I told you I wouldn't relate to this guy. He wears designer jeans. And tennis shoes made in Korea. <clears throat> After cooking his breakfast in his new electric skillet made in India, he sat down with his calculator made in Mexico to see how much he could spend today. After setting his watch made in Taiwan to the radio made in India, he got in his car, made in Germany, filled it with petrol from Saudi Arabia, and continued his search for a job. At the end of yet another discouraging and fruitless day, checking his computer, made in Malaysia, Joe decided to relax for a while. He put on his sandals, made in Brazil, poured himself a glass of wine, made in France, and turned on his TV, made in Indonesia, and then wondered why he can't find a good-paying job in America. I don't have to say anything to that, do I? You know, there's only one solution to this. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.